Hey guys, it's Abby. I'm back with another video and today I will be doing my bookshelf tour. This is like a very rough idea of what my bookshelf is going to look like. I just haven't been able to really like decide where things go so it's not perfect. But these are my shelves and also these are my college bookshelves so I'm like most of my books are back at home but these are just the ones that I have here. So let's get into it. So we are starting at the very top of my bookshelf. So here is a picture of me and my girlfriend, a um, Native American doll that I got at a powwow when I was really, really young. Um, this is an A for Abby that my friend Anna made me of all of these pictures of us. And then a little kangaroo from the school that I go to. Now working our way down here is the top shelf sorry they're a little dusty so i have a little air plant here that's what this rope up there was and then a little spray bottle so we're going to move that out of the way so i can show you guys the books so we are starting with the first shelf we have the world's greatest love letters compiled by michael callahan but not that kind of girl by Lena Dunham, On Writing by Stephen King, The Account by Nunez Cabasa de Vaca, You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero, this uh, 2016 moon sign book, If You Feel Too Much by Jamie Chuar, blah, 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 can't pronounce that. We have this A for Abby from Anthropology. This back here is a fan my sister got me from China. Here's a picture of me. And my girlfriend and my roommate, Heather, she got it for me for my birthday. And then we have the other side of the shelf. We've got Catcher in the Rye, Of Mice and Men, The Outsiders, Woman at Point Zero. This is not my book. This is my roommate's book. We talk about when we talk about love by Raymond Carver. Their Eyes Were Watching God and The Picture of Doran Gray. So that is that shelf. I have my classics and things like that, and then I have memoirs and nonfiction. So now we have the second shelf, and it looks like this. It is all of my contemporaries and standalones, and then some other stuff. So I have a Polaroid camera, and then I have a little picture frame from Urban Outfitters of, ew, focus. Anyways. Again, me and my girlfriend. It's got glitter in it. Okay, we have Love Letters to the Dead, Let's Get Lost, All the Bright Places, Everything Everything, Saint Anything, Everything Leads to You, The Fault in Our Stars, my very first copy. I have several other ones, but they are all at home. An Abundance of Catherine's, Elsewhere, We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallace, favorite cover by the way. Poet Anderson of Nightmares. This is How You Lose Her by Juno Diaz. The Thirteenth Tale by Diana Setterfield. The Virgin Suicides. Winger. Anna in the French Kiss. The Catastrophic History of You and Me. Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. Jellicoe Road. One of my favorite books. Let the Great World Spin. This is also my friend's book. I should probably take this off the shelf. All right, making progress. Here's the third shelf, my favorite one, and the one that is in the background of all of my videos. We've got two little fake plants, not real ones because I kill everything, and then we've got some Polaroids sticked on the back of there. Wandering Star by Romina Russell. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell and then Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. We then have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Also, just saw the trailer for this movie. Freaked out, I cannot wait to see it. I haven't finished the book yet though. The Wrath and the Dawn. I Crawl Through It by A.S. King. Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. We have Cinder, Scarlet, Crest, Fairest by Marissa Meyer, The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys, Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve Otter. We now have the second to last shelf. We've got two little candles here, 
Don't Know Where They're From Because a Friend Gave Them to Me, Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield, Rooms by Lauren Oliver, You by Carolyn Kepnes, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, Radiance by Catherine M. Valente, Renegade by J.A. Saunders, Will Be by Chris Cleave, Earthbound by April and Pike, Heap House by Edward Carey, The Secret Garden by Francis Hodginson Burnett, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. These books right here are my journals and I've already showed those in a video, so if you're interested, I will link them below and you can find them there. And then I have The Pocket Book of Stones, The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan, Dirty Pretty Things by Michael Fawcett, Love and Misadventure by Lang Leave, Citizen by Claudia Rankin, Touch by Henry Cole, Pansy by Andrea Gibson, I Wrote This For You, I Wrote This For You and Only You. So this is the very bottom shelf, and as you can see, it's just an assortment of random things. And we'll start over here. We have Whatever You Are, Be a Good One, 100 Inspirational Quotations. We have some mixtapes that my friends have made me, two CDs, the Fault in Our Stars audiobooks, and then a bunch of movies. And then under here, this is a writer, writer's toolbox that I got several Christmases ago. Then over here, we have my Polaroid um, picture uh, photo albums, and so they just hold a bunch of my Polaroids. Put those over there. Then we have high cubes, which are these cubes that you roll like dice, and you try and create haikus with the words. These are mostly literary textbooks that I kept um, literary terms, writers for dummies, um, that 645 things to write about, and a bucket list, just things like that. We have a little teddy bear. We have a bunch of empty or half-used, oh, look at that. We're just dropping things all over the place. Empty or half-used notebooks over here. A coloring book, my old Erectus journal, empty notebook, old stuff. My ticket stub diary, this holds a bunch of ticket stubs from concerts and plays and things like that. We have the um, literary rep magazine that my school produces. I've got two issues of it. And then we have a couple more coloring book type things. So that is my college bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked it. I'll probably have a more formal and updated version of this another time but until then i hope you liked this please like and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video